So October, November 2017 session, uh, organic chemistry questions. Uh, the question four. Question for ethanol, which is C2H5OH, can be made by fermentation. So we can make uh, the, it by two ways. One is by fermentation. Another one is by reaction of alkene with steam or hydration of alkene. So complete uh, the chemical equation for formation of ethanol by fermentation. So in fermentation, what happened? A sugar solution result in a formation of ethanol and carbon dioxide. But whenever you complete the equation, the equation must be balanced. So what should be the number? You can use the screen annotation to complete, uh, balance this equation. What will be the number before ethanol and the number before carbon? So two ethanol molecule and two carbon dioxide molecule. Then state conditions which we need for fermentation. Any two conditions we have to mention, but what are the conditions for fermentation when we carry out this reaction? So it's around uh, like 35 to 37 degrees centigrade, anaerobic respiration, and means anaerobic condition, absence of oxygen, and in the presence of yeast, and aqueous glucose could be a solution, aqueous glucose. So you can mention yeast should be there and temperature around 37 degree centigrade or absence of oxygen and anaerobic condition. Ethanol can be made by catalytical hydration of ethene. Ethene plus steam will give ethanol as well. Name a suitable catalyst for this reaction. So what catalyst is used? We use a phosphoric acid is used as a catalyst. Then the next part, calculate the maximum mass of ethanol that can be made from 56 gram of ethene. Like if we have 56 gram of ethene, how much ethanol can be made? So if mass is given, we can also take the mass ratio. The equation is there. So this is the equation. So here we have ethene. This is ethene and this one is ethanol. So what is the ratio of the mass from the equation? Carbon is two, there are two carbon atoms and four hydrogen. So what is the mass of ethene? C2 NH4. So carbon is 12 multiplied by two and hydrogen is one multiplied by four. So 24 plus four, that is 28. So mass of a ethene is 28. And what is the mass of ethanol? Ethanol is C2H5OH. So carbon is 12 multiplied by two, hydrogen is one into six plus oxygen is 16. So 24 plus six, 30 and 30 plus 16, that is 46. So the total mass of ethanol is 46. So if we have 28 grams of ethene, we'll have 46 gram of ethanol. So whenever you are solving the equation, you can take the ratio of the moles, you can take the ratio of mass or you can take the ratio of volume. So if, if we have in the question, if we have 56 gram of ethene, if I have 56 gram of ethene, how much ethanol should be there X? So we cross multiply. So when we simplify, it will be 28 into X is equals to 46 into 56 or X is equals to 46 into 56 divided by 28, which is equals to 92. So we'll get 92 grams of ethanol if we have 56 grams of ethene. Because the mass was given, that's why I took the ratio of the mass. If the moles were given, I will take the ratio of the moles. And what will be the ratio of the moles? The ratio of the moles will be 1 is to 1. But because the mass is given, so specifically, I took the ratio of the mass. Then ethanol can be oxidized to form ethanoic acid. So when al any alcohol can be oxidized to carboxylic acid. So 
what are the what is the oxidizing agent the oxidizing agent you have to again learn the name of this oxidizing agent which is acidified potassium manganate 7 so acidified potassium manganate 7 is an oxidizing agent for this reaction memorize this oxidizing agent for conversion of alcohol to carboxylic acid a molecule of ethanoic acid structure is shown complete a dot and cross diagram to show the structure here so if one we are using with dot the other one we will use with cross so if this one is dot hydrogen is dot c, a, c is cross and if this hydrogen is this carbon is uh, dot, the other carbon will be crossed because this is a dot and cross diagram. And if this carbon is cross, the other oxygen will be dot. And there's a double bond here. So there will be a pair of electrons. And this is a single bond. So this hydrogen oxygen will be single. So we just have to identify like each line is representing a pair of electron. Two electrons are there. When two double bond is there, it means there will be four electrons between them, and every single bond is representing and a, a, a single bond representing presence of two electron and double bond is representing the presence of four electron. And we have to draw the unshared electron on oxygen because this each oxygen contains uh, uh, four unshared electron, and rest there is no unshared electron on carbon or hydrogen as they use all the electrons in the bonding. Then ethanoic acid is a weak acid. What When referring an acid, what is meant by the term weak acid? The term weak acid means the acid which ionize partially. We call them as a weak acid. Then describe how you could show that the ethanoic acid is a weaker acid than hydrochloric acid. So how we can identify like we have two acids then one is a strong acid, another one is a weak acid. So there are different ways. We can add, like example, we can add equal amount of metal carbonate. If hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so it will give greater effervescence. Or we can measure the pH. Hydrochloric acid will have a lower pH. Or we can pass the current or electricity through them. Hydrochloric acid will conduct more because it's a strong acid. So any one of them, you can measure the pH or use a universal indicator. So HCl is a strong, if HCl is a strong acid, it will have a lower pH. And ethanoic acid will have a higher pH, but that, that does not mean it will be more than seven. Both will have a pH less than seven, but the pH of HCl compared to ethanoic acid will be smaller. So any one, any way you can mention, there are multiple ways to show that acids are strong or weak. The carboxylic acid react with alcohol to form an ester, as you can see the structure. Draw the structure of carboxylic acid and alcohol from the ester and give the name of carboxylic acid and alcohol. The simple way to solve this question is first identify the name of ester. So what is the name of this ester? The part which is attached with oxygen is coming from alcohol. And we name it first. One, two, three, four. So there are four. And we name that as first. And the name should end at YL. So it is four carbon. It will be but IL. And one, two, three. So it is uh, three means prop. So prop and O8 is there for ester. So it is butyl propanoid. And if it is butyl, pro pro uh, butyl propanoid, the first part is always from the acid, which is butanoic acid. And the second part is from the carboxyl, sorry, by mistake, uh, first part is from alcohol, which is butanol. And the second part is always from carboxylic acid, which is propanoid acid in this example. The first name is always from alcohol and the second name is from acid. 
So butanol and propanoic acid react to form this ester. So we just have to draw the structure of a carboxylic acid. So you can deduce the structure of carboxylic acid like till this part is from carboxylic acid and this part is from alcohol. So propanoic acid and butanol, we have to draw the structure. So propanoic acid, one, two, three, then C double bonded with O, O and H and show all the bonds and all the atoms and the name of acid that is propanoic acid. And alcohol, one, two, three, four are there. So one, two, three, four, butanol. So OH will be attached. So the OH will be attached and it, this compound is known as but because of four carbon and due to single bond and all because of functional group OH. So propanoic acid and butanol are the two reagents which react to form this following ester. So this was an organic chemistry question from winter session, October, November, 2017.